Let me welcome each and every one of you here this morning to help celebrate us the, uh, the completion of the second phase of the North 22nd Street project that is so important to this area and so important to so many people uh, as we complete the, the makeover of an area that is so desperately needed, this area done that way. This vision of redevelopment in the university area started more than a decade ago with the creation and approval of the university area community plan. As part of the community plan, improvements to North 22nd Street were considered a high priority to create a neighborhood center for this community. The first part of 22nd Street from Fletcher Avenue to Bears Avenue was completed two years ago, greatly changing and improving the look of the stretch of road. Many of the representatives here today were at that ribbon cutting. As you might remember, this 22nd, the stretch of 22nd Street was no longer funded at the time because of the tightening budget. But the residents and the community representatives were here spoke and spoke loudly, coming down in buses to the county commission meeting and telling commissioners how important this project was to the safety and quality of life to this community. I want to commend all of you for taking part in that much needed dialogue. The commissioners that were on the board at that time listened and, funded the, and found the funding to complete the second phase of the improvements. And so I am proud today to represent the county commission and celebrating the completion of this critical improvement here in my district. My. I'm also pleased to announce that the final stretch of North 22nd Street from 131st Street to Fletcher Avenue has been funded in the county budget, now recently approved budget, and will start in the middle of next year. So I wanted to let you know that. First of all, good morning, everybody. It's wonderful to see many friendly faces here today. This has been a 20-year project. It's hard to believe that it takes 20 years to get something done. And there are still many people here today with us that have been working on this project for 20 years. But yes, projects do eventually come to fruition. It may take 25 years because we aren't finished yet, but at least it's getting done. We're very proud to see this significant accomplishment. This is more than another road. This is the center of our community. This is our main street. And with time and as the economy comes back, this street will develop into an economic and residential environment that will create a small township feel in this area that has had no image but a, but a negative image for so long. This stretch here represents a new beginning, connecting the, the, the economic shopping district with the residential community, with housing, with lives, with community development, it begins the holistic picture of turning a community around, of helping those who have been unfortunately held back to move forward. This is a community that is evolving and changing for the better. On behalf of this community, I would like to thank the county staff, uh, the county commissioners today, the USF Area Community Civic Association, the UACDC board, and our great partners, the University Village and the University Mall. I believe that today's ribbon cutting ceremony is a true demonstration of how partners can come together and make improvements to positively affect the community and the residents who live in this community. By working together for the greater good of this community, amazing things can happen. And as you drive down this street, I hope that you see how many lives you have affected and that the work in this community has truly just begun. Thank you for supporting and believing in this community because we can make a difference. You know, a lot of people wake up every morning and read the newspaper and say, there's nothing I can do to make a difference in this world. But there's also a lot more people that wake up every, every morning and pledge to make a difference in this world. Uh, I had the privilege of being part of the 22nd Street North Task Force for the Main Street Project. I can tell you that a lot of the people that we're working on that uh, project, are here today. They all fought and put their minds to work and strategized and talked to their county commissioners. Um, and together, the, the people that live here, the people that uh, work here, and the people that govern us got together and we made this happen. It's just a matter of believing. If you look at these signs <clears throat> that are on the flagpoles, they say, do you believe? Well, Victor Christ and the community has believed in this dream for a long time. 
And it's people like Gertrude Johansson that make it possible. For those that remember back to the county commission meeting a couple of years ago, Mr. Johansson was one of the many residents from University Village that came downtown to ask that this road improvement be funded. I'm going to deviate from the script again. I've been working with this lady for a long time when I was in the legislature on senior citizens' issues. You see, this young lady here is, you don't mind me telling your age, do you? 99 years old, okay? 99, and still actively involved. You know, I have just discovered that it's a great advantage to be late in the agenda because everybody else says what you had on your mind to say. And so it, it, it really, I'm trying to think now, what can I say? Uh, Mr. Locke gave a, re a good report on what was going on here. But I think that our victory today in celebrating on completion of phase two reflects the strong support in the community. And that's the important factor. But you know, with that gap in there between uh, uh, phase one and phase two, there is no completion on this project until phase three is completed. It's a great victory to know that it's in the budget, it's been approved and is funded. A little bit disturbing that it's mid-2012 no, uh, mid before they got started. I thought they'd really, you know, take advantage of this little spell now and start ahead of time. Because the success is when this corridor can become one from Club Drive to uh, Bears Avenue, then the invitation to investors to come in because we're stable and we're secure. As long as we have that gap in there, we'll never get this project off the books and into the master plan. So, <laughs> but anyway, when this uh, project phase three is complete, I think we ought to have a real big celebration, possibly at the community center, and not call it a ribbon cutting, but a ribbon tying. And if we tie all the three phases together, we will have a corridor from Club Drive up to uh, uh, Bears Avenue. Uh, I'm glad to be here today. Uh, yeah, I'm 99. I don't know where I'll be when I'm 100. Uh, I don't know whether University Village will still be there when I'm 100. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, thank you very much for coming, and we're still in there working. And it's the community support that makes this a project that's going forward. So let's go forward now. Well, Ms. Johansson, your message has been heard loud and clear. <laughs> we'll do the best we can to get this going sooner than the middle of 2012. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank uh, our project delivery team that's here today. Uh, we have folks from the county staff who are project management team, Mays Monroe and Chris Frock. We have our design team here from HDR Engineering, Carolyn Worth and Tom Quinn, and our contractor, Kimmins Contracting, that delivered this beautiful project. Uh, like we said, there's, you all see what it is, what it took to get here, and we're gonna push forward to get the final phase done as quickly as possible as well. And now I'd like to ask um, Commissioner Chris and the community representatives present to join me in the cutting of the new road project. Two, three. Yeah. Yeah. 